What's up guys, River here, back with a brand new video on the Minecraft Skyblock series, guys, and today, this is actually episode number 11, so welcome back to a brand new episode of the channel, but if you guys didn't know, we're actually doing a giveaway at the moment, the only rules are you both have to be subscribed, leave a like on this video, and pretty much just leave your username in the comment section down below, and we're actually giving away a free rank, the winners will actually be picked within 24 hours after this video is uploaded, Thanks to everybody in the comment section down below, guys, but today, Today's notification shout is actually going to Epic Doge guys. So shout out to Epic Doge guys. He actually had his notifications on. If you guys want your very own notification shout out, just be sure to go and click that bell beside subscribe and just let me know down in the comment section down below. You guys hit it. Much it guys, but without further ado, we are actually gonna go ahead and start off this episode with actually opening up a jumbo key. We're actually now out the crates, and everybody always says, like, yo, River, you only open up boosted crate keys. So today we are actually going to be changing up with a jumbo key. We win some pretty cool stuff. If you guys actually look in here, say 15% chance to win two portable ender chests. You guys know I really want to go ahead and get a bunch of those. Next up, we can also win a bunch of the heads from like the owners and everything. We can a fly token still pretty OP. We can go and win ourselves a rank. Oh my goodness. We can also go ahead win ourselves a bunch of spawners, some crate keys, some money. You can pretty much win anything in this crate key. Hit that like button, guys. I really want to go ahead and get these two portable ender chests. You guys didn't know that's actually an evoker block, so that's actually really insane. But anyways, guys, we are going to go and go with our very first jumbo key of the day. 3, 2, 1, and this, guys, are you serious? Did we win this last episode? I don't remember. I think we won this a couple episodes so it's back guys oh my goodness we got ourselves an op supply key we can actually go and get like diamond blocks and stuff from this so we're just gonna go and spam these three two one and go and yo okay we got ourselves a bunch of ores so since we got ourselves a bunch of ores i know a lot of you are probably gonna tell me river do not go ahead and sell these what i'm gonna do i think we're gonna go and keep these in our pv6 because we're actually moving islands very soon guys so we're actually gonna keep like all these diamond blocks and the emeralds in there for the new island we go to actually went ahead and sold all the ores except for like the diamonds and emeralds we're actually keeping those in our pv for the brand new island but i just realized we actually went and clicked buy on one of the irons by accident guys but anyways we went and sold it all back but yeah guys anyways that's actually gonna go ahead and wrap up this crate key opening next up in this video we've actually got something pretty crazy to show you bros if you guys didn't know i think it was like slash warp kits last season if you guys actually want to go and check this out this season it's actually slash warp buy kits and it spawns you right over here guys and as the title you can actually go and buy kits with in-game money and like real money on the minecraft or anything you guys can actually go and buy this stuff in here it is kind of expensive but it is worth it guys right over here 130 million dollars for us kk guys hopefully i don't buy that by accident but anyways if you guys look at this it pretty much just gives you like every cray key there is like literally every single one thing about this i think you get this like every week you get like a mystery cray key an op spawner a money like a boosted you guys can literally get every single cray key in there so if you guys are gonna go and pick up one definitely go ahead and pick this up if you guys have 130 million minor kit and if you guys actually do have enough money for like three million or anything while you're actually looking at these make sure you go ahead and right click guys because if you guys like left click it will actually go ahead and buy but anyways if you right click in the minor kit you just get like the shovel and the pickaxe bunch of crazy stuff they got the decoration kit i don't even know if you can actually buy these in the shop but that's also pretty cool and anyways if you guys actually want a really useful one to spend your money in here other than the key crate guys oh my goodness that is so much money but i want to go and get some armor it's actually a pretty good one guys not too expensive you guys want to go and click this you guys can actually go get full protection for and you also get like a sword over here a axe and you also get like golden apples this kit you actually get three days i don't know if it says it on here but i'm pretty sure you get this kit every three days which is pretty insane so if you guys like pvp or you just need some armor this is a pretty cool kit so that's pretty much it just thought i'll let you bros know about this brand new thing on here called actually warp by kids so we are actually back and something kind of sad just when that happens we were actually in pvp i think there was like an envoy and this actually happened during like when i was showing you guys the warp kits and everything like trying so hard to go and get like a custom enchant or anything in the envoy and there were like none left so i was literally just like fighting like three people guys i was in like a 3v1 and died guys there was really like so many people on me but anyways we went ahead and lost like two boosted sets and our like drunk helmet and our god sword so we kind of went ahead and lost our op helmet not that op but still pretty op and we lost our sword but it was a good thing because 
because I just remember the last episode, I think it was, we actually got this god set kill, which actually had all this stuff in it. Jumbo great sort of here, so I guess we still kind of have ourselves a god set, guys. The only thing we actually need to go and work on is a, a new helmet, and we need to go ahead and get ourselves a custom enchant called, a custom enchant called Pickpocket 3. I think it's actually a boosted one, so if any of you guys actually do have that, let me know down in the comment section down below, and if, and if I get it this episode, I'll still buy another one, because we're, we're probably gonna need a couple swords. But anyways, I'm actually at this at this XP farm over here for with the blizz. I think I'm just waiting for them to come down. I don't really know. But anyways, we've got ourselves around 19,000 XP. And if you guys look, we're actually going to go and try to grind up. I know it is a lot, but we're going to go and see if we get ourselves enough for like 50,000 levels, which is a boosted book. Three is actually a boosted book, guys. I don't know if we'll be able to go and do that, but we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can execute that in this grinder. I don't really know what happened in the grinder. I think this is still a work in progress base guys oh my goodness i think they're literally still building the grinders so yeah guys but anyways since we actually are gonna go and wait for that we've actually got ourselves this book called drunk through which was on our last helmet we shared to joshua snipe guys he actually went and hooked me up with this drunk book for free guys so huge huge shout to him for that but anyways guys this is a 18 percent success rate so that, that that's kind of bad guys so we actually need to go do slash ce and buy ourselves a bunch of this stuff i don't want to spend a lot of money there we go dudes we finally got it to 100 success and i actually realized we actually have a couple of like dust left in our pv this guys three two one and bam and there we go okay so we now get ourselves the drunk three guys so pretty much just like our old helmet but anyways there we go we got ourselves one of the very first op enchants guys so i'll go and take it but anyways guys i think i think the grinder is actually now fixed so we're gonna go ahead and grind over here and see if we can actually go ahead and get ourselves enough xp guys we literally need ourselves like top the xp of what we have but while i was actually afk we're here for a couple minutes guys we, we literally don't need to go ahead and grind ourselves some more xp but shout to whoever gave us to me i think it was joshua snipe again i don't really know 100 percent guys but we also went ahead we actually bought that one in the auction but we also got ourselves the pickpocket three we are literally gonna go and spend all of our money on magical angel dust dudes i don't know how much we need but we're going to go ahead and make these both to 100 percent actually know how much is double tap one is let me know down in the comment section down below i actually paid like 350k for this as it is time we're gonna go and put the pickpocket three and the double tap one on three two one and bam okay the first one worked let's go with the second one and there we go dude so we got ourselves a pretty op god sword now we're getting closer to max guys the only thing is i think this has the life steal one i think like life steal like five i think is the max i don't really know 100 percent, but i'm pretty sure life steal five is max guys so we definitely need to go and get a higher level of lifesteal. Alright guys, I think we've got ourselves a pretty OP god sword. You guys let me know down in the comment section down below if this is actually a pretty OP god sword if there's like any other instance I should go and add to this. Got ourselves a couple XP left. Don't think we'd have enough for a legendary guys. We're gonna go ahead and buy ourselves a rare and yo, wait, what? We can go buy ourselves two rares. Okay, we're gonna go and buy ourselves two rares and one common. Okay, but anyways, let's go with the first one. Okay, we got ourselves feed me one. Okay, that's actually a really good one. It has a chance to feed you while fighting so instead of doing like slash feed this will like auto feed you you can put that on your axe totally really need that guys what is next lightweight too okay has the chance to give the user haste just ask you bros in chat apparently this is also a max book we, we might just go in and have to put that on our sword too we also went ahead and picked up yo are you serious guys we got ourselves a double lightweight too we actually went and got ourselves a bunch of magical angel dust oh my goodness but anyways we're gonna go and grab this one right over here and we're gonna go ahead and make this to literally 100% guys are close enough and we're gonna go and put it on our sword finally got it to 100% also if you guys want me to go and give away this lightweight too to one of you guys in the comment section down below let me know down below this is literally turning to like a super xp opening episode guys but anyways, we're gonna go and do this lightweight too three two one and bam and there we go so we now got ourselves lightweight too so guys we now have ourselves a literally a 10 lower sword that is really insane guys but anyways was i think that's actually gonna go and wrap up this enchant part i don't know if you guys actually know about that but you guys can actually go and recycle your enchants if you guys actually get bad enchants so we can go and just put this feed me one in here for some mystery dust and bam okay so we now got ourselves some mystery dust we can go and click this and we can actually go and get ourselves magical fiction dust will give us one to five percent do us three two one and bam and there we go yo we actually went ahead and got ourselves a plus five magical angel dust five was like the top we could get guys oh my 
goodness, that is literally the best thing we could have caught Casper. And we're going to go and keep that in our PV2 for now. Go ahead and wrap up this episode. Oh my goodness, this is literally like the tightest spot I've ever been in Minecraft, guys. But anyways, there's actually this really insane mob grinder, which you guys can actually go and come to, which is actually at iOS Warp, Bobby. Guys, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, anyways, but you guys actually go and spawn in. Right over here, there's actually a welcome sign. Mob grinder plus blaze plus enderman and joy. And look at this, guys. There's actually so many blazes right here. There's 443. We can just go ahead and grind these for literally ever, guys. And this is really crazy. Guys, but right behind you, there's actually two Enderman spawners. I don't really know if I actually want to grind it as some Endermans because they can go and CP away. But I just thought there was another cool addition to the plot. Let's look at this guy's island. It is pretty crazy. Looks like he's got a bunch of iron golems and creepers in there, which is pretty lit, guys. But he also has like a bunch of melon farms. And like I said, guys, I have not seen like any melon farms on this season at all. The first one, I guess, guys. But anyways, just thought this is a really crazy island. If you guys actually want to go and come here and get some free blazes, free enderman ends up for free melons. I think that's actually going to go and wrap up today's episode. That's actually wrap up today's episode. And if you bros didn't know, we actually do daily Minecraft videos on this channel. So please consider subscribing. And also, if you bros haven't already, be sure to go and smack that like button, guys. We're going to go and see if we go for a crazy amount of likes for today's episode and i'll see you bros in my next video peace